What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Scorpion today. I think this is a king scorpion. So we're looking at it from the side, two claws, and the big spiky tail. So let's give this a go. We're going to start with like the head, the claws, and then like the big body, right? So we'll go with the head first. So center point of my page is about here. We'll come down and start with this. It's like it's an armored sort of creature, right? So we just have these sort of bumps. Right? And this kind of has a lip and it bumps out for the front and around this way. And this armor sort of go up around the head. That way. So we got a little lip. All right, just like on the edge of his armor here. And then we have like a bumping line just coming up the middle here. And some lines around. Just kind of these textures and stuff. And the eyes are real small. They're these little black, tiny little things here. One there and one on this side. So it's kind of smaller, hidden there on the side. And then you just color it in and leave some white dots, right? So like a white dot there. Maybe another one just there on the top, just to make it look a bit shiny. Okay. Now, is it true that scorpions have more eyes on the bottom of their head as well? Is that true? I don't know. Looks like this one does. But... Hmm. Not sure. I think I'll leave this guy with two. So... Let's go with the rest of the armor plates. So we'll just go up the back here. Each of these bumps will represent an armor plate on the back. All right, so they'll just, and eventually it becomes the tail. And we have like the back end here. It goes down behind a leg, right? So each of these then, is a place of armor. And like this side, eventually there's a leg here, so you can't see the rest of that. And if you want now some textures just on the armor. Just like a rim. And then some more of these sort of dots and stuff. Because he is real bumpy. Okay, and I've left this. You could finish it and rub it out afterwards because there's in the in the drawing. There's going to be a leg here, okay? So, we start adding all these appendages now coming off his body. So at the front, right, we've got like some like mandible type skin things. I think like these teeth come out from that. We seem to have two sets of these, so like another set here, go in the opposite direction. And another one just coming down here. And it joins the head in under there somewhere. So the leg then comes out from like the side of the head so it comes sort of out 
here starts to come out and join sort of up and it clicks together right so you got like these sections right just comes down underneath here and so it disappears into the head section here somewhere all right and this will have like some muscles and stuff so this one clicks into a, a round one so it like comes around here like that and then we have another section there and then like a skin section or something here and then the leg hooks around skin and then hooks there and we'll actually I'll make this a little bit wider so we'll go like the way up here and right, you got like all textures and stuff on this and then so this big round gnarly sort of claw right so it's spiky on the top and then it comes down and it's got some teeth here and it comes back around the other side and then we have a bottom section it goes out the other side here because they're like pincers you know and then this has like a bumpy ridge line coming up and down it like this maybe on the edge here as well and lots and lots of wrinkle and texture and just these dots and dashes and sometimes they have like hairs coming off which makes it extra disgusting right like that so that's the front one on the right so we got to do this one over here now this one is like closer to us so it's much bigger right so let's like curve around here real gnarly bumpy like that and then it comes around here up oh, and then we have like the teeth in there you know the bottom jaw or section you can have them open or closed of course so it's kind of up to you they're closed in the picture i'm drawn from so this kind of connects together here and then these have like edges to them like a line bumpy line that comes around make some hairs sort of sticking off the top So this comes around from the from the front part around to his elbow and back into his body back around here right so you've got like sort of an arm section with some like skin there and then his elbow sort of comes out here bumpy sort of spiky thing around behind And then it goes back in, spiking, bumping, like that. 
across and towards the arm. And then bumps around again. From there. So they're kind of like unusual shapes. They're not like straight or anything. They're all bumpy and curvy. There's no straight lines really in this guy. Another section that just goes into the body there. Okay. Right here. So legs then. So I guess the easiest place to start with the legs is like the small ones over here. It looks like six. One, two, three. One, two, three. Eight, actually. Looking like a spider. Okay. Clicky legs. And what I mean by clicky legs is that there's like sections that kind of look like they click together. Right, so like one. Next one goes in behind here. And then like his toes are kind of like sticking off this way. Real small. So that like goes down there. Next leg. down and behind that one and then this like going back this way I think it's knee or something there And then the other one going like back over here somewhere. Looks like his black legs. Um, no. I thought they were bigger there for a sec. They are a bit. Okay, so the legs then that come off this side come out from underneath the body, right? So, see so yeah, out from under here, right? You've got some like flesh. I guess it'd be like the soft part of the scorpion, the bit that the armor is protecting. There's like this fleshy parts. And the legs come out from here. And there are these clicky sections. Scientific term, clicky sections. <laughs> Right, so this comes around. Do, do. Wait, is that an arm? His arm is there. And then the leg goes down in behind the arm. Can we see it coming out underneath? No, so it disappears. That leg disappears in behind his arm there. Next leg then. So like out this way. Going that way and then down here. Bit of skin in there. And then skinny next section. There, and then his feet, toes kind of stick out here too, two sort of claws on us. We just color them black because they're so thin. A bit of texture on the armor. Okay, next leg.
start in there that piece and then the next one comes out from it there and in here you'll have like some soft skin and my chair is squeaky so that goes that way and they have like pieces of hair and stuff sticking off every now and then as well and then the next piece of leg So, and his toes, sharp spiky toes, claws on the end, some texture there, right, and then next leg. Kind of a joint on us and then this is the one that like blocks off his body so it just comes up around here and then the next piece of armor Some like texture to the claw, and then his foot. Like so. I think that's his last foot. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, eight. Okay, so then his back hit the tail back here right so we've got like sections on this so like little sort of sections like so and they'll have like connections and stuff on them and they're kind of bumpy as well so the next one They have these little sort of spines on them or something. and like hairs and stuff sticking off these as well and then the next one here and we finally get to the point where you've got the spike coming out right and it comes out from this sort of section here at the top but first we'll just add like some bumpy ridges some like spiky hairs right, and then so we've got this thing starts to like curl around right so
comes around here. We've got some bumpy ridges on that and on this as well. Like some flesh sort of sections inside. It's got like hairs coming off. And then finally, the spike goes in the opposite. So this one curves in, but the spike comes out because when he like shoots it, it like curves up. So we like curve it out that way. And then spike back in. Boom. Okay. All right, and then you can like add more textures as much as you'd like. But I think I'll leave it like that. That is how to draw a king scorpion, I think. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.